$299.98, what a ripoff. So for those of you that know, the Nintendo NES Classic is going to be discontinued. They're going to stop selling it. It is only $59.99 if you could even find it, and it only comes with a couple dozen games. So with that said, I want to show you how to build your own NES Classic for around the same price and have 100 times more games. You have the ability to have all sorts of things with the Raspberry Pi 3. I'm going to share with you everything you need to buy to build your own NES Classic Edition. You need the Raspberry Pi itself. That's $38. Then you need, it only comes with the single board computer. It does have HDMI out, so it goes to pretty much any display. You have the audio out, or you can get your audio straight through the HDMI. And you have four USB ports, so any USB controller or um, Bluetooth controller will work with this board. Um, you then have, a, there's custom cases out there. This is a nice one. And basically, it, it's a lot smaller than the NES Classic, but it looks like an NES. So you're going to get that same feel that you would with the NES Classic, and it fits the uh, Raspberry Pi 3. You will also need a power supply to boot up the Raspberry Pi 3. And lastly, you'll need a micro SD card. 32 gig would be my go-to just because of the cost to how much you get. And you're going to be able to add Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo, and other systems to this as well. Lastly, the controllers, you can get little PC USB controllers. Here's one for $11. Really nice controller. I hear it's not as nice as a real controller, but it's for the price, it gets you very, very close. Now, if you want a wireless version, there's the NES 30 by 8 bit Really good stuff. Use these before. Really high quality wireless controller. If you want the wired controller, the Raspberry Pi, the case, everything, and the memory card, the software you can get for free online, $89 out the door. So for $89, you get every single Nintendo game ever made and everything you need to run on your TV. The only thing you need is HDMI cord. Most people should have an HDMI cord hanging around at home. And I'm going to put a link in the description for the exact image you probably want at the 32 gigabyte. So all you do is you get these parts, links in the description, buy them, put it all together, after you get all the parts, you're going to go to my YouTube channel. Depending on what size um, SD card you purchase, just type that in. And here, this is a uh, reviews from people who have made some really awesome images. It's, I usually give them credit in the video as well. And they've already done a lot of the hard work for you. What you do is you click there. There's a little link. Download the image. All you do then is you go on your computer and you use a program called Win32 Disk Imager. You put your micro SD with the adapter into your computer. You select the correct device. You load the .img file that you downloaded from one of these videos. You write it. Once you're done, you'll take it out of your computer, put it in your mini Nintendo clone, boot it up, and you're ready to go. Nothing else is needed. The controller should auto detect. You'll have to configure those, but it's not hard at all. It's that easy. You don't have to wait in line. Even when these are discontinued, you'll still be able to get this. There's a lot of support for the Raspberry Pi community. Really good stuff. Now, I have a couple of other options for you that if you everyone talks about, the 128 is kind of the go-to image for a lot of people. There's Ray's 128, there's Mad Little Pixels, there's Regilod, there's a new Piggy one coming out. So we have a lot of 128 gigabyte images. This image is going to give you pretty much every single system from arcades, NES, Super Nintendo, Atari, all the Sega Genesis. So you have all your systems in one. And I went ahead and priced that out for you, what that would look like. So NES clone wireless controller is about 110. Uh, my build would be, um, don't get this case for $20 or something called a Canna kit. You get this $50 Canna kit right here and it comes with a case. Now it doesn't look like the NES mini, but if you're just going for to get the games, you'd want to play all the games, the NES and things like that. Get this one here. It's only $50. So you can see my equation here is it, it just jumps down to 50. You don't need any of this stuff up here. So you save about $16 there. It's 50 instead of, uh, you know, 65 or 66. And then uh, I prefer the Xbox 360 controller because you get an analog stick on it. So because you get an analog stick, you can play Nintendo 64. You can play arcade games that require a stick. Um, you know, you can play Sega Genesis that has three buttons, things like that. It pretty much works for all the systems. So it's a good go-to controller. Sometimes you get these even cheaper at like $19.99 when they go on sale. There'll be links in the bottom below. And then you do need a 128 gigabyte SD card. So you spend a little more there. Now, all that being said, you can build that for $108 everything 
you'll have every single Nintendo 64 game, every single SNES game, every NES game, blah, 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 you name it, you can have it. Easy setup, same process, really good. Now, if you want that 128 gigabyte image, but you want to keep that NES case, you want to keep the kind of NES classic look going, I went ahead and priced that out for you as well. Um, you would then buy these three again. You wouldn't buy the Canna kit because you're, you're spending money on a case you're not going to use. And uh, depending on what controller you get. So I said it with the Xbox 360 controller, it's about 25. Um, the reason being is if you're going to get a 128 gigabyte in SD card, you're going to play other systems besides uh, Nintendo. Uh, but if you want like one Xbox controller and one NES controller, you're talking 135 for two players, one, one Nintendo controller, one Microsoft Xbox 360 controller, out the door. So there's your prices, really easy to get. I'm gonna put links in the description for everything, for what you need to buy, for what you wanna download. Everything's there for you. you. Make your own NES Classic. For you collectors, I'm sure you want the regular NES, I understand that, but for everyone else who wants all the benefits of the NES Classic, but you don't wanna have the hassle and pay $300 for one, then this is the way to go. It's also a huge community. There's a lot of support out there. If you ever do have a problem, you can Google it you'll get so many answers. You're not gonna be stuck searching for hours. You'll find your answer quickly. I hope you liked this video. If you do have any questions about this, please comment below. If you give this video a like, I'd really appreciate it. Maybe subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content, and we'll see you guys on the next one.